how I plan to obtain $100 million. $100 million. Sorry, I should say that. It has been achieved in my mind. Brandon Gentile here. Just a quick little picture that I wrote a couple years ago on a piece of paper and I keep in my wallet an overall net worth goal. Uh, compliments of Bob Proctor that suggested you always keep your goal in your mind and every time you open your pocket or you look at it or you look at whatever your goal is placed and so hopefully it's in a place where you see it all the time you constantly are putting that vision in your head and that that thought in your head our plan wealth creation is truly a plan i've been writing goals for almost 10 years really younger if you count uh, the number of goals i wanted to score in a year uh, things like that <laughs> as a playing hockey as a child but Again, I have achieved about half those goals, been writing for about 10 years in the business side, and have achieved many of them, probably about half of them uh, that I set out to obtain. And I plan to achieve the rest of these lofty goals the next 10 to 20 years. I still have a long way to go. Using the market cycles to accelerate wealth building opportunities. Check our previous blogs on wealth cycles and how we use these to our advantage for growth acceleration. Mike Maloney has coined this term wealth cycles, and it truly is a, a magnifier of wealth. Over time, we are going to acquire real estate, lots and lots of real estate. And that's really our expertise. For the last 10 years, our, our team have done thousands of transactions, and we know a ton about real estate, uh, the investment side, the brokerage side, and have a uh, high level of, of expertise and knowledge in that area. So it's it's something that we are continually growing and doing um, and actively doing, uh, raising money. We've done that, uh, syndicating deals, putting things together, making money for other people. Uh, while we uh, make money for ourselves, provide a great experience for our residents, and then make other people money with their money. So it's a, it's a skill to be able to do that, but it takes time. And that's a, this is really where a lot of our business comes from, made properties and, and the, the, the business we have there, uh, as you see on the hat. That's our business. And it, it kind of acts as a private equity firm in a way, and it will grow into a, a massive you know commercial uh, real estate private equity firm as we go forward. Think of it as like a REIT. A lot of people know a real estate investment trust. Well, we're building our own real estate investment trust. And right now we help a lot of people buy and sell. And if they can't buy and sell or you know, if they can't sell easily or their house needs work, then we will buy it from them. Uh, or we will raise money on an apartment complex and, and then go make a lot of people money and make ourselves money and then go provide a great experience and fix that place up, turn it around, stabilize it, provide value to it and, and added value and then provide a better experience for our residents. So it really is a win-win-win. And again, this is one area, the real estate side, where I haven't done as much on the investing side because we've been helping people buy and sell a lot over the last 10 years. And I've not done as much as I've liked to. I've, I've really excelled in other areas of, of saving money, but not saving dollars necessarily, saving things like Bitcoin, uh, saving things like gold and silver, and getting insurance policies, getting these, these hedges and these insurance policies, because I do truly think I had just kind of this vision 10 years ago when I was playing minor league hockey and I was getting done and just realizing I have to do something else because I know bad things are going to happen. It was really was the 2012 election was really kind of a turning point for me that, hey, I'm not doing anything by just playing my, uh, pro hockey. I'm not doing anything for anyone. I'm not doing anything for myself. I'm not doing anything for my family, my friends, my loved ones, the people around me. I'm not providing anything for them. And it, cool, it's great to talk about over the dinner table once in a while how hockey's going or something like that, and it's fun to think about, but I wasn't really doing anything. So how can I provide for people and how can I – prepare people for what's coming. And that's really the next evolution of my life became about that and, and how I can help uh, those around me truly at the end of the day, because I could see things coming and studying the political side for 10 years and then getting into the business side for a couple of years and seeing the crashes of 08 and what was going on there. So the little guys in here to help, help to do the video with me. So Barrett, Barrett's already, the two year old's already learned about cash flow, already knows some of the words, Bitcoin, learning the vocabulary that I didn't learn until I was 22, 23, 24. Uh, and again, we have uh, obtained some of these real estate goals, but to a small degree with, you know, a dozen uh, acquisitions and in doing that and, and doing some flipping and things like that, where we can prove our processes out and, and pr provide this, uh, platform for people to see what we're doing. Uh, and then again, in large part, I was doing this because I was trying to time markets and thought this would market would go into depression, honestly, over the last six years. And it just hasn't. I didn't foresee the government and central banks printing trillions and trillions and being able to buoy the economy like they've been able to. But this won't happen forever. The day of reckoning is coming. Barrett is here, ready to go.
He's ready to rock and roll. The day of reckoning is coming. Someone has to account for all this currency being printed, for crying out loud. I mean, look at this. This, this is absolutely insane. I know. Barrett's ticked off about this, too. So what are we going to do about it, Barrett? What are we going to do to provide wealth for ourselves and for him and the generations after him and the people all around us? The goals. The goal is about 300 residential single-family units. The goal is about 300 residential single-family units for us in the coming decades. We will then acquire about 10,000 commercial units, a mix of about five to 7,000 apartment units and two to 3,000 storage units. There will be mobile home parks and senior housing mixed in as well, most assuredly. This will be our everyday business, providing cash flow and value to our residents and our investors. And again, it's a, it's a, a, a way you can use currency and then refinance it and pull cash out tax-free. It's a way to just churn and, and use cash as a machine where you're not having to pay capital gains on things. Otherwise, most people are going into stocks and trying to sell and then live off that, but they're paying capital gains where if you're in real estate, we can then take people's cash, turn it into more cash, refinance it out tax-free, and then they can go use that while they're still making monthly cash flow passive income through the apartment complex or the self-storage facility. We will also use our Bitcoin and silver which is some of our bigger investments as well, uh, and gold to continue in, that will continue to gain in purchasing power as well. We will possibly sell in the future some of that. However, the plan is to lend against those assets and then buy more real estate that, again, levers up and, and using that debt, that good debt, to acquire more good debt and cash flow. And again, that cash flow just completes the self-reinforcing positive loop we are building. We will never save in fiat dollars as that is a liability. It's not an asset really on your balance sheet. It's really a liability because it continually depreciates in value. We will cash flow real estate and we will always save in hard money. If we need to save, we save in Bitcoin. And if we, uh, and so that's what the dollar does. We, we use the dollar right now because that's a legal tender to, to pay a couple months uh, on hand to pay our expenses. But we save, if we're saving long-term or saving for retirement, we save in Bitcoin or maybe some gold and silver uh, as kind of that second option. Uh, and then we use cash flow as the day-to-day -day business, the thing that's providing income uh, daily and monthly. No certainty. We can't be sure as to where assets like Bitcoin, gold, and silver will be priced one day, but we have a good guess, uh, should they have, uh, a good guess based off of history and knowing exactly how the government is going to operate. As we've shown you in recent days on our recent uh, videos or blogs, the network effects of Bitcoin's price in the coming years, again, shown above where it's going to be, say 10 years from now, it could be anywhere from one, two, three, five million in, in the coming decade or so. We've also shown you the past Fed chairman papers, Ben Bernanke's deflation in 2002, deflation, why it can't happen here, why it won't happen here, why we won't let it happen here, and the IMS working paper 10 years later in 2012 about how to handle the debt they've caused. So those two things go together. They're giving the roadmap of what's going to happen. We know without a shadow of a doubt because of these two things what they're going to do, and then central banks have to, because they've said so, have to continue printing currency on a massive scale. So this exponentially has to increase the printing, the bailouts, the bail-ins, whatever it is. It's going to con continue to go off the charts through the roof, and just moon. They have told us so, like I said. So again, this means we continually have to hedge and beat inflation by owning hard assets. So again, this is how I'm going to obtain $100 million net worth. If we acquired 5,000 rental units, it would be probably be a mix of self-storage and mobile home parks, as I mentioned earlier. If I had even a 5% ownership or equity stake in the $1 billion real estate portfolio, then that would be about $50 million. I expect to have other partners in there as well and general partners and limited partners, right? So I'm not going to have 50% of the portfolio or 75% or 20%. I'm probably going to have somewhere around maybe 1% or 5% or 10%. I expect to have somewhere between 10 to 20 Bitcoin uh, in, in the next decade or two. At 10 Bitcoin with around $5 million per coin, we will say 2040. So we'll be very conservative with it because we have in here three to 5 million by 2032 or so, 2034. But just by, by 2040, they're saying 10 million per Bitcoin. But I'm going to just be somewhat conservative and say it'll be uh, only 5 million by 2040. Again, at 10 Bitcoin, so not even hitting 20, but 10 Bitcoin. Uh, it often distance even more by 2040, that's $50 million. So again, 50 in equity of the real estate portfolio, then 50 in Bitcoin would be $100 million net worth. Not to mention the cash flow coming in. And again, that's just the net worth from two asset classes. Not to mention the cash flow coming in from real estate each month. I would then be lending against my Bitcoin to purchase dividend paying stocks. I'd probably be lending against my silver and gold as well. Maybe just outright selling those potentially. 
And again, there, the Bitcoin economy will be so, it'll be we're probably living in a hyper Bitcoinized world at that point. So there'll be so many ways to make money off of Bitcoin and probably cash flow Bitcoin, to be quite honest, that some of these things are, are likely to change. But again, at this juncture, I would then be lending against my Bitcoin to purchase dividend paying stocks and other businesses that would be harder for me to raise money against. It, it's it's easier to raise money for real estate. It's the easiest thing to raise money for real estate because everyone wants to lend against it. Banks, private citizens, et cetera. It's hard to raise money. I can't you know, as easily raise money to buy stocks. So I'm going to use my personal wealth like Bitcoin uh, or silver, things like that to lend against to then buy dividend paying stocks to increase my cash flow. And again, if I'm making 15% on that, but my my payment, because I'm lending against it, is 5%. I'm making a 10% spread there. So I'm going to cash flow those things, and, and then we're going to raise money from all of our network to then go buy more real estate. So again, using other people's money, you don't need money to make money. You can raise money and use debt, good debt. Again, this would in turn increase our wealth and be poured back into our businesses, be, po be poured back into mid-made properties, increasing that even more, re increasing returns for our investors, et cetera. And again, it all starts from decisions that we made 10 years ago today and into the future. Each dollar matters. Each decision matters. Stay strong. Again, if you like this video, please share, like, subscribe, share with someone that you think might like it. Maybe they don't like it. Maybe you want to take some off. Please, please share it as well. <laughs> Let us know what we can do better, how we can entertain you better, how we can give more value. And please go check our other videos out, like I mentioned in here, about wealth cycles. Uh, we have those back from about a month or two ago. Check those out. And just the last couple of days, I talked about how uh, deflation works and why it's so important and why we've been told massive lies about inflation. And it's really counterintuitive. It's really backwards. You know, of course, the media, government, everyone's telling us we want inflation. And we've, we've wanted that for decades. They've told us 100 years. That's a complete lie. We want deflation. Well, what do you expect from the government? And again, just a video in the blog we did yesterday about what the uh, elites don't want you to know, what numbers you actually have to track, the financial numbers you want to be tracking daily to, again, focus uh, on what you want to grow. So what we focus on grow. So what are you tracking in order to grow and hit your net worth goals? Appreciate you guys so, so much. Go check those videos out. Let us know where we can get better. Like I said, like and subscribe. Please share with anyone that you think might enjoy this and we'll see you on the next one.